Okay, so today we're looking at making the clear acrylic or the clear plastic piece for the Spotify project. You're going to launch the Adobe Illustrator program. You should have an Adobe Creative Cloud account already. If you can't find it, you're going to search ILL and make sure you open Illustrator 2024. It might take a moment to open. Just be patient. Now, if you've watched my old video before I post this, remember that everything is on the Google Drive Classroom now, not the Room 127. So you will need to have gone to Google Classroom. And make sure you've downloaded your site. So sign in. We should already be signed in. Grade 8 graphic design, and you're going to go down to Spotify Acrylic Template. When you click on this template, it might take a moment to open. Go to the three dots, select Open in New Window, then you can download it. Now it's either going to immediately go to the Downloads folder, or it's going to ask you where to save it. So we're going to go to Graphics 23 is my computer, we're going to go to the Sour French Fries, you can see I've already got one in there, so I'll just call it template2 because I don't want it to save over top. Then we're going to go to open, find your folder, and open your file. The next thing we need to do is pick our artwork and get our song. So if we go into Spotify, and yeah, you know what? We're going to do that. We're going to do... Gorillas, and I'm going to do Feel Good Ink. Click on the three dots, share, copy song link. Go back to Google Chrome, Spotify code, paste your link in, click on Get Spotify Code, scroll to the bottom and click continue. You must change bar color to black and format to scalable vector graphic or SVG. Then hit download. Now it's either again going to ask you where do you want to save it or it will automatically go to your downloads folder. So we go find our USB, put it in there and it's going to have a big name with a whole bunch of letters and numbers. That's fine. It should say SP code. Once you see all the bars fall, you're good. We're going to go File, Place, find SP code, and click anywhere on the screen. Direct selection tool or the white tool. Highlight, delete, delete. So when I say highlight, I just mean I drew a selection box around that corner. It is extremely important that you do not alter it or change its size without holding the shift key. It will not scan then. So we're going to scale this while holding the shift key to fit on the page. And whether you put the code up here or down here is up to you. I'm going to change things up and put it on the top. It's your choice though. Text tool. Don't draw a text box. Just click and type. So I'm just going to do gorillas and I just actually have to check what we took again. Feel good. Then you can pick pretty much any font you want. So top of the screen here. Go through. Sure. So we're going to scale that down to fit. Then the next thing we need is artwork. Now, this is probably the most difficult part of this project is you need to pick artwork with good contrast. And I'm going to show you how to alter some images in Illustrator to make them look better. So you do not have to use the album artwork. You can use whatever you want as long as it's school appropriate. And go to images and we're going to go to tools size large. We always want to work with the highest quality image possible. 
Um, let's see. So you know what? I'm going to see if I can work with this one. So 853 by 1280 pixels. Right click, open image, new tab. So we're going to copy this in and see how it works. So I'm going to go right click, copy, come back, control V or edit paste. And we're going to scale this down. So something I don't like right now is how much black there is on the outside. You do not have to keep the square here. I'm going to delete it. You can also use it as what's called a clipping mask. And there is another option to use crop image. And I'm just going to shrink it because I just want that window. Hit enter. So if you notice, there's a little bit of black still there. We're just going to crop it again to clean it up. There, that's better. And if you want that black outline around it, you can do that too. I'm just going to select the box and hit delete. So that would be okay for now, but it would engrave and look much better if we go to edit, edit colors, convert to grayscale. Now again, I cannot tell you what image will work best because every image is different. So sometimes you're going to have to look at it. I like this one. You may have to go to edit colors and invert colors. So anything that's black will turn frosty white. So we want the image to actually look something like this when it's done. But sometimes in order to get it to look like this, you may have to go to edit colors, invert colors. The other thing we can do is go to adjust color balance. And you're going to make sure preview is checked off and see that gray that's starting to appear in the white background, we don't want that. We're actually going to go to the left a little bit more. So we might do something a bit more like that. And opacity is going to be somewhere around 50 to 60% usually. Again, I will help you tweak it a little bit. But this one would be ready. The reason this blue guideline exists at the bottom is so that it will fit into the battery holder and you don't put anything below this as it will get cut off. So then we would go to File, Save. So we'll automatically just update the save file in there. And if you ever want to check if you've saved, we would go Date Modified. So you'll actually see Spotify Acrylic Laser Template 2 was saved at 9.24 a.m. today. And you can see it's 9.25, so we just saved it. If you want to rename it, you can actually just hover over it, click once, pause for a second, and click a second time. And you can rename it and hit enter. And that's ready to go to head over the laser now. Any questions, come see me.